Thank you. Judge President, I nominate Honorable Temkosi Willis Mkunu for election as the Premier of KwaZulu Natal Province. I, Namusa Dubengube, hereby second the proposal for Honorable Temkosi Willis Mkunu as a Premier. Thank you. Thank you. Returning officer, are you satisfied to the identity of every signatory to the nomination paper, and the nomination paper has been properly completed? Yes, Judge President, I am so satisfied. Yes. Are there any further nominations? Yes. As there are, there are no further nominations, thank you. Everything in order, I will now proceed. In view of the fact that a single candidate has been nominated in accordance with item 5 of part A of schedule 3 to the Constitution, I now declare the elected candidate Premier of the province of KwaZulu-Natal. Thank you. May the elected Premier please come forward to take the oath. Mr. Willis Nkunu, please step forward. I, Tembinkosi Willis Nkunu, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and will obey, respect, and uphold the Constitution and all other law of the Republic. And I undertake to hold my office as Premier of the Province of KwaZulu Natal with honor and dignity. To be a true and faithful counselor, not to divulge directly or indirectly any secret matter entrusted to me, and to perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. I so affirm. Thank you. Please sign the affirmation. You have witnessed a few hours ago the legislature exercising its constitutional mandate of convening a special sitting to elect a new premier of KwaZulu Natal. This followed the resignation uh, the resignation of Premier Senzo Mkunu early in the week. This important task has been undertaken with great cooperation from all political parties and has confirmed that we have a vibrant democracy in this province and indeed in the rest of the country. I have accordingly accepted the responsibility that comes with the office of the Premier of the province. I have taken oath of office during the swearing-in ceremony conducted by Judge uh, President Justice Yapi, following the legislature's election processes. It is indeed a great responsibility which I accept with humility. I profound, I'm profoundly conscious of the mammoth task that lies ahead. I hold high the pattern which uh, the, my organization, the ANC, uh, carries, which carries the popular mandate uh, of the people to govern this province, has entrusted upon me. There is all clarity in my mind that ours is to fundamentally serve the people of KwaZulu Natal with utmost sincerity, commitment, and dedication as part of moving South Africa forward. You are familiar with the fact that this position, as I've indicated, 
became vacant when former Premier Senzo Mkunu tendered his resignation. The ANC accepted his resignation and directed me to act for the past day until today when the official election of the Premier took place. I personally wish to thank Mike for his role and contribution in changing the lives of the people of KwaZulu Natal. He has done a sterling job ensuring that our province is stable and growing. We will continue to tap into his experience and wisdom going forward. We will continue where he left off and ensure that towards realizing the vision of a better life for all the people of our province. <clears throat> to this end, we intend to improve the pace of delivering services to the citizens. We will ensure that our government responds more speedily to the needs of and continues to be closer to the people in true ANC <coughs> culture of people-centeredness. A great number of our people are already benefiting from the fruit of our democracy and freedom. The reali reality, though, is that there are still very many who remain unemployed, affected by poverty, and living in underdeveloped communities. The backlog remains huge and requires an increased pace of service delivery by government. On this note, we wish to assure the people of KwaZulu-Natal that the province will remain stable and it is extensively immersed with a number of socio-economic developmental initiatives in line with our national and provincial priorities of job creation, education, skills, health, fighting crime and rural development. It is also steaming ahead with developing the strategic sectors of tourism, agriculture and manufacturing. In terms of manufacturing, you will note that yesterday, Tuesday 24 May 2016, President Jacob Zuma officiated the expansion of the Toyota manufacturing plant in Durban, which will create 4,000 new jobs. Obviously, I am new in this office and still have to meet with colleagues from the Executive Council, heads of departments, staff members in the office of the Premier, and many other stakeholders as part of processes to ensure that I hit the ground running. I wish, however, to place it on record that as the mandate of the ANC, our agent task is to increase our pace of driving radical economic transformation. We will engage all stakeholders across sectors to align our thinking. We are also conscious of the volatile global economy which requires innovative strategies to attract and catalyze, catalyze domestic and foreign investment in the local economy. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are approaching local government elections, we have called on all political parties to build on the strides our province has made over the years. As before, we must all demonstrate political maturity and tolerance. We must also be united in discouraging illegal and violent public protests, which have been seen in various parts of the province, and in some instances resulted in the destruction of property. The project of building peace and political tolerance is just an advanced stage, and it is possible to achieve an incident free and, viol and violent free local government elections. If all parties, government, the independent electoral commission, the people, and the, uh, the police and the people work together. This is key to the normal functioning of our democracy and ensuring that voters in the province are able to exercise their political rights of choosing their public representatives without fear and undue political interference. We will continue to engage with the sectors of society and communities to deal with public protests and address service delivery needs. In due course, we will announce a comprehensive program to reach out to the people of the province. Ladies and gentlemen, the journey of building Wazulu Natal continues. We commit this government to remain open to constructively engage with citizens, various sectors of society, and the media in Wazulu Natal as part of deepening our democracy. We will also spend our effort in working towards the realization of a united, democratic,
non-racial, non-sexist, equal and prosperous KwaZulu-Natal and South Africa. I thank you.